All right, so it is now nine o'clock in the morning. We have another fun-filled day planned of all sorts of different activities. But first, we're gonna go check out Harfat Jaya Peak. We're gonna go way up to the top of this mountainside here, and we are gonna get some spectacular views. I'm sure you're gonna love it, so let's go. All right, the world famous Jellyfish Lake within easy reach of Harfet Jaya Homestay. Let's go. So we've made it up and then back down again. This is an ancient lake. This lake has actually been separated from the ocean for many, many years. And these jellyfish that have been trapped inside, they've evolved to not have any stingers because there's no predators here in this area. The water is slightly salt, but it's a mix of fresh and salt water. And we're gonna be able to get in here and swim with these guys. No fins, because uh, it damages the jellyfish. So we're gonna try to Tread very, very lightly, but we'll be able to swim safely in this uh, ancient lake. So it's pretty interesting. Let's get wet. Lunch time! <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna check out a cave. Uh, it's called Grieving Princess Cave, and we have to go about 150 feet up you know, to enter the entrance. Uh, I'm being told it's kind of low, so we kind of gotta squat through there, but uh, got some lights. We'll go check it out. So the cave is pretty short and it actually passes through on the other side. Um, I thought these were bats at first, but when the first one hit me in the face, 
bats are really good at flying in the dark and they never hit you. These are swallows, these are birds. There's a nest right here. Some little tiny little hatchling, fledgling birds there. And if you come over here on this side, there's a couple baby birds in this nest. They actually have feathers here, a little bit further along in the developmental stage. If you look down here, you can see the cave is very low, but nice little habitat for all these guys. And the, um, the people don't uh, come back here that much. So you can see the tail feathers of some of the bigger swallows probably sitting on their babies or sitting on the eggs. All right, very interesting. Let's see what's in this direction. And a really big cave spider over here. About the size of my hand there. Very, very big. See another spider? This is the formation that gives the cave, cave its name. It's a grieving princess. It's actually a pretty accurate depiction.
So we are now going through Yapap, Thousand Temple area. The rock formations here are absolutely incredible. They look like they're just delicately balancing. Like just the ever smallest bit of pressure could tip them over. It's almost like a Hollywood movie set. Like it's fake. It's unbelievable. It's very difficult to take it all in and kind of kind of absorb it all, but um, pretty impressive. So from a distance, all this little foliage that's growing on these uh, limestone rocks, it looks just like some kind of regular plant or ivy or something. When you look closer, these are all pitcher plants. They're growing on all of these rocks. Something that you wouldn't expect to find in this kind of environment, but it's pretty, pretty interesting. So what we're looking at here, these are this is like a tomb where they buried some dead humans from tribal warfare. Um, for whatever reason, they, they didn't actually bury them. They just put them here into this cave. So you can see a skull, uh, lots of different bones here. Kind of strange being around human remains. I kind of feel like I shouldn't be up here. They said go on up there and take a look. So of course that's that's what we're doing. But uh, it just uh, it just doesn't feel right. So I'm gonna leave this at peace and head on out of here. But, uh, yeah. Okay, Apple, tell us what's wrong with you. I have something stuck in my ears. I think it's a jellyfish. Or no, something. you have you have water in your ears. I ear have water from in my ears from snorkeling, and it's stuck in there for three days already. So this gentleman, they are gonna try to help him with some traditional pap traditional papaya tooth. This is, so this is like an earwax candle, but we're doing it uh, nature yeah. style.
heart fell. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. This feels good actually. It's very warm air. That's how it went. Okay. It's getting better every time. Better. I think I will get better by tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> but every time he do that, it's uh, he does that. Yeah, it's uh, it's good. Yeah. All right, I think it will work for me. Let's see tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>